So this is a chuck roast. And what I want to do is very meticulously use the tip of the knife. And I'm just going to make an insert slit. So it helps if you have obviously a sharp knife to do this. All right, so I'm just adding the last few garlic cloves right into this beautiful chuck roast. And I like using chuck roast because it is more uh, of an expensive cut of meat, but it's gonna cook up nice and tender and you don't have to do a whole lot. So this marbling of fat is great because that marbling of fat is gonna give us nothing but amazing flavor. And speaking of flavor, let's bump this up a notch. You wanna transfer the chuck roast right into my braising. So I have some bell peppers that are already chopped. So this is green, red, and yellow. I have some celery that's already beautifully diced as well. But I've got some green onion that I'm gonna put in here as well. So the combination of the four of these it's really, really good. I'm gonna just throw the fresh thyme literally right on top. So what happens is that as this cooks in the oven, it starts to really perfume and uh, set the flavor for the chuck roast, which is great. This is Herbs de Provence, or you could use Italian seasoning. Either one is up to you. But the Herbs de Provence, they have a little bit of lavender action happening, which is a really, really good. Now I'm gonna add some chicken bouillon. This could be chicken or beef. What's gonna happen is this is gonna give me a pretty savory flavor without adding any moisture, which is really what we want, which is why we use the bouillon, right? And then I have a buddy of mine, uh, she sells this garlic and herb seasoning, so that will go on here as well and make this whole thing taste amazing. Now, we need some sort of liquid to allow this to braise properly, so we're gonna get that by adding in the red wine. Beautiful. This is what you need, because this is gonna cook down and reduce and be beautiful. Now, lid goes on, I have my oven preheated, it's at 400 degrees. This goes off into a super hot oven to cook up. That's how good this is. Let me see about this pot roast. That, as you can see, look how tender it is. I don't even need, mm, I don't even need, oh, I don't even need a, a knife to cut this. That red wine, oh gosh, it's really good in here. Mm. You can taste the slow braise and the love in here. All right, look, the turnip greens with the bacon that we just did a quick saute. Oh yeah, oh, the sugar, necessary. Because they can be a little bitter by themselves. Mm. But this is good here, okay? And then look at this cornbread. Look at that cornbread right there. Let me taste this. This is the Sunday that I remember. The cornbread, if I didn't know any better, I would think it was cake, okay? I'm gonna finish eating this. Mm, so good. Sundays will always be a special day. From the excitement of getting dressed for church to the hugs and the kisses and the displays of love. It is this love that transcends. It is this love that carries us. It is this love that inspires us. My hope is that this will inspire you to cook your best life and enjoy it with the people who are the most special to you. Now, the recipes will be available on the Darius Cooks Plus app. You can go and download it right now. There are two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I have to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours.